Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Badger DIY back here again. And in my last video, I mentioned about retiring my old Lenovo M910Q tiny PC. Now, this PC has been through a lot of projects from the good old days when it was just an office PC, through Android TV, Windows TV, retro gaming, and so on. It definitely served its purpose. Now, the first comment that I received on the video was actually suggesting I transform this into a NAS, and I really liked that idea. It sounded like a fun project. But you know me, I always like to take things one step further. What if I turn this into a retro NAS, or retro NAS, or maybe a ROM NAS, or simply all of that in one? Now that we have the plan with what we're going to do with this Lenovo PC, we need a name. So this is a Lenovo PC and I want to turn it into a NAS. So I came up with the name Leo NAS. I mean, yeah, that would do. But before that happens, before this PC retires into Leo NAS, I got one last mission for it. A brand new version of Batocera just dropped, Batocera version 42, and I thought what a better way to say goodbye than to test this new update. If you're still here and enjoying this so far, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and don't be afraid to leave a comment. I do enjoy replying to any questions you might have. Before we dive into installation, here's what's inside this Lenovo. It's powered by an Intel Core i5-7500T, paired with 16GB of RAM, integrated Intel HD Graphics 630, and for storage I'm using a 500GB SSD. It's small, quiet, energy efficient, and surprisingly powerful for emulation and retro gaming. So before we start turning this into Leonas, let's give it one final task. A new version of Batocera version 42 just came out, and one of the best candidates to complete this mission successfully is my trusty Lenovo M910Q Tiny PC. So today's mission is simple. We'll do a fresh install of Batocera version 42, check what's new, and then test a few games to see how it performs. For this, I'll use a SATA to USB adapter and install Batocera directly to this 500 gigs SSD. After installation, I'll plug in a keyboard and a mouse, since we'll need them to install a few other things. And for gaming, I'll use my go-to controller, the Easy SMX X05, solid, wireless, and comfortable to use. Have your SSD plugged into your PC, and let's get started. To install Batocera, we'll go to the official website, batocera.org, grab the latest version, unzip it and use Balena Etcher to flash Batocera to the SSD. It only takes a few minutes. Once it's done, we'll plug it to the Lenovo and get ready for the first boot. First boot is always exciting, especially when there's a new version of Batocera. One of the first things I like to do after a fresh installation is activate the Wi-Fi. So with your keyboard and mouse plugged in, go into Menu, System Settings, Network Settings and Activate your Wi-Fi connection. Now press F1 on your keyboard, navigate to Applications and double click on Xterm. And type in this command. Don't worry, everything will be in a pinned comment or in the description below. From here we're installing the unofficial Batocera add-ons. 
you can install stuff like desktop mode, Mozilla browser, Chrome browser, and other utilities that make Batocera even more powerful. Before we continue, quick note, this video is for educational use only, and I do not enforce or promote any form of piracy whatsoever. Always use the games that you legally own. With that out of the way, let's move on to installing RGSX manually. You will have to download the zip file, extract it. You will have to extract this into the ports folder, whatever it contains RGSX. You will have to extract uh, into your ROMs folder. So for Batocera, only extract the ports folder contents into ROMs, ports, and just copy everything there. Now it's the perfect time to test some games and see how Batocera version 42 performs. We'll start with Mario Kart on N64. Everything's let, left as default and it runs perfectly smooth. Next, we have a 3DS title, Kirby, still holding strong, very playable, good frame rate and solid visuals. Then we move to PS2, the Simpson Heat and Run. This one's always good test for performance, and honestly, it's impressive how well this tiny Lenovo handle it. For a small form factor PC, that's some serious solid emulation performance. And of course we have to try a bit of Switch emulation. Here we have Mario Odyssey running with Eden. And that's it for today's mission, testing Batocera version 42 on my Lenovo M910Q tiny PC. This little guy has some life left in it, but next time we give it a completely new purpose, transforming it into Leo NAS, a retro NAS and a media server combo build. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that video. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe and as always, 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one with Leonas.